We will now use the retrieval notebook to better understand how retrieval works. We'll go through document parsing, uh, getting similar documents with embeddings, and ultimately getting our LLM to provide an accurate answer to a user question. Let's dive in. First, we need to, again, install all of the required libraries. If we haven't done it yet, we're going to be using weights and biases, again, for tracking and Langchain uh, in this notebook. We'll do the imports, make sure that you have OpenAI API configured. Langchain is a framework for developing applications powered by large language models. In this notebook, we will use it specifically for processing and parsing documents. We will also use the retrieval chain, which encapsulates a lot of the functionality needed uh, to implement our question answering system. However, I encourage you to check out langchain.com to find more examples and inspiration on how Langchain can help you build uh, large language model uh, powered applications. Langchain comes with a weights and biases integration. So if you're using it, you can track all of the uh, traces into weights and biases dashboard. And this requires a single line of code, which is setting the environment variable, Langchain YDB tracing to true. You can also set other variables uh, to make sure it logs in the right place in weights and biases. Here I'm setting the YDB project. Let's now look at parsing documents. And to keep things simple, we will start with text da Vinci model, which requires a simple prompt. And later on, as we move on to building our application, we'll actually move to the chat model. But let's keep things simple for the very beginning. Uh, so the, first, the very first thing as we as want to parse our documents is to load our documents. And here we'll use this handy, um, handy uh, class from Langchain, which is directory loader. We'll load uh, all of the markdown files in our directory. And there are 11 files in our sample. Uh, we will want to count the number of tokens in each document. So we need the tokenizer via tick token library. And let's count how many tokens we have in each of the documents. Okay, so we can see that some of these documents are pretty short and they can fit well into our context window, but some of them are actually quite long. And we may want to actually chunk them into smaller parts. And we already discussed there are different ways of doing that. And here, because these documents are in Markdown, we will use long chain Markdown text splitter to split these documents into sections. So let's uh, run this cell and see uh, that we have now 90 documents. So this whole process resulted in, in, in a big expansion. We have more chunks than documents initially. And the maximum uh, number of tokens in a document is around 537, which I think is fine. It, was, it is going to fit into our context window. Let's take a look at the first section from our documents. And we can see it's, um, it has used the Martin formatting and it looks, uh, it looks pretty good. I think we've done the parsing documents fine. Again, Langchain was helpful here. And we can now move on to the next part, which is embedding. Again, we're going to use the Langchain utilities uh, and we will use OpenAI embeddings. I encourage you to check different embeddings. Uh, Cohere provides a very good uh, multilingual embedding model if you're dealing with uh, languages that are other than English. We will also use Chroma as the vector store to store our, um, our indices, our, our embeddings. So let's um, initialize the embeddings with OpenAI embeddings and let's also um then use uh, the the chroma vector store to parse our document sections uh, with openai embeddings and get the resulting vectors into the vector store now that we uh we, we process the documents we can uh, create a retriever from this database and the k parameter will decide how many relevant sections we retrieve based on the similarity search. So let's set k to three. And now as we do this query, uh, how can I share my weights and biases report with my team members in a public weights and biases project? We can retrieve the docs with our retriever and we can just check the document titles 
two of the docs are chunks, are chunks from the collaborate on the reports um, uh, document, and another one is a chunk from the Teams uh, document. And I think this probably reflects the right documents I would expect to retrieve for this query. So it seems the embeddings are doing its work well in our case. Now that we retrieved documents which are relevant for the query, we want to stuff them into the prompt along with the user question. And to do this, we will use prompt template from Langchain. It's very similar to an F string in Python where we have the actual text and then we have uh, the, the variables, uh, which is context. This is where we're gonna put the documents, the documents text, and we'll have the question where we will put the question from the user and then we'll get, uh, we'll ask the model to produce a helpful answer. This is a very basic prompt. Again, it's used for a, for a short demonstration of the functionality here. As we go into building the application, we'll try to expand and make it more of a level five prompt with much more, um, with much, much more direction uh, for our LLM. But again, let's keep things simple first. Let's uh, initi initialize this prompt uh, from the template and we're gonna input the variables of context and question. The context is gonna be a concatenation of the content of documents that we retrieved. And um, the question is obviously our query. Then we will use Langchain to call OpenAI uh, API. In fact, this is not the chat API, this is the, the DaVinci uh, API. And we'll try to use this model to predict an answer to our prompt, given the documents that were retrieved with embeddings. Let's take a look. As you can see, we're starting to stream uh, Langchain activity into weights and biases as we do a lot of this experimentation. And at some point we want to check uh, what worked, uh, if there were any errors and what type of results we're getting. Weights and biases is a great place to do this exploration. Uh, we can see the response now. Um, it says to share a report in a public weights and biases project, we need to select the share button on the upper right hand corner. Yes, it does look like the right response that we've been expecting. So it seems like this process of retrieving similar documents, um, stuffing them into the prompt and asking LLM to respond to the query with the right answer is working in our case. We've already used Langchain with several utility functions to make our life easier as we implement this code but it can get even better. So Langchain encapsulates this entire sequence of actions into a chain. In this case, we're looking at the retrieval QA chain. And with this chain, we can actually implement this in very few lines of code. Um, we instantiate this retrieval QA chain from the LLM, which is OpenAI. Uh, we indicate the chain type, which is stuff, and then we provide the retriever and we can run our query against this chain. And if we do this, we should see um, a very similar result to what we've seen before. And again, the answer seems correct. The chain is working. It makes our life easier. We can implement uh, our solution in fewer lines of code. Uh, as we go into the next lessons and we build and try to expose our chain as a web application, we'll also heavily rely on a long chain code uh, in that process. And because we're stopping our experimentation here, we can finish our weights and biases run. Uh, it was uh, started by setting this environment variable at the very beginning and starting to use long chain. We've now concluded this phase of our experimentation and uh, we should be able to see uh, the results in weights and biases. Mm -hmm.